Hello and how you doing? It's Chris Cole here and today what I want to do in this video is show you how to actually track your complete funnel using the software known as AdTrax Gold. Tracking your complete funnel and statistics is quite easy to do with AdTrax Gold once you have everything set up and in place. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to set up a campaign and we're going to look at how we can actually track the different elements within the funnel. Of course, every funnel starts with a squeeze page and I've knocked up a complete funnel and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you these pages as to what I built. This is the squeeze page here. You can see it's not too riveting, but it is a squeeze page that I've stuck together for this video tutorial. I then have a one-time offer page and literally I've just put this headline so you remember which page it is. And of course, there's an add to cart button if you were buying the mythical product. And um, what we're going to do within this video is we're going to pretend we've actually bought the product. We've went through the payment processor and we've been redirected and we've come back to this page here. This is your typical download page. Thank you for your purchase. Here are your downloads. So that's a very simplified funnel. And um, what we want to do is we want to track, first of all, the clicks that come to this page. So if we buy a solo ad, uh, we give it, we want to know the clicks that are actually being sent directly to this page. Then what we want to do is we want to know what percentage of people hit this page here. And of course then that's also the percentage of people that have opted in. If we then make sales, then we can track this and we can add this into our campaign as well once the people hit this page here. So to do all this, what we're going to do is we're going to lift the squeeze pages URL and we're going to create a campaign using ad track gold coming to this page here. So if I add a new campaign, we're going to give this an ad code of testing. And then what I'll do is I paste in the squeeze page URL. I'm going to add it to my testing group. I want to track clicks, actions and sales. You can use this section here to keep track of your figures and tell you whether or not your campaign is either going to be profitable or not. So if you go and buy a solo ad and say you buy a solo ad for $40, uh, you set it in here. Then what I like to do is I like to add in a description. This is a reminder for myself. If I ever get confused as to what's going on, I can come in and the, the description there to remind me. It's a test campaign. So I want to add the new campaign and here we have it here. I want to copy this and this is the tracking ID that I would give out to the person I purchased the solo ad from. So now that we have this URL and this tracking ID, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open up, this is Internet Explorer I'm bringing in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste the URLs between each other because the cookies will be different. So now that I've pasted in the tracking ID, this is actually going to simulate a click coming in to my campaign. I hit enter. And here you can see the squeeze page itself has loaded. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back over into my tracking software and I'm going to check the statistics of the campaign. There should be one click so far. And here you can see within the campaign section, testing has had one raw click, one unique click, zero actions, zero sales. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set up our tracking for this campaign. We want to track the opt-ins. And then we also want to track the sales. So we'll go across and we'll set up this tracking now. So what we do is we select campaign management and track conversions. Now we're on the generate tracking code page. What we want to do is we want to select either action or sale. First thing we're going to do is we're going to select an action. I'm going to give it a product ID and I'll give it number 98. So what I've set for tracking this action is the product ID of 98. I'll uh, give it the name of testing and opt-in. And just to remind myself as testing and opt-in, I want to generate this conversion tracking code. And generally I left from here to here. Basically this is just an image tag and I copy this. So now that we've copied this, uh, what I want to do now is I need to paste this code into my one-time offer page. Basically if anybody hits my one-time offer, they have effectively opted in as far as the tracking software is concerned. So if they track the click, the person opts in, and then they arrive on my one-time offer page, they're considered as opted in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the one-time offer page, and I'm going to paste this code into the one-time offer. Okay, we're now on the one-time offer page, 
And I do know that with Optimize Press, you have the option to add in different codes towards the bottom here for tracking codes. But what I'm going to do in this instance is I'm going to paste it directly into the HTML. So here you can see I've pasted it directly into the HTML of the page. I'm going to update the page. I've now brought up the squeeze page again. And what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to opt in uh, to the squeeze page. So I'm going to put in a random email address, which will allow me to go through. Okay, I've put a random email address in and I'm going to say, yes, I'm opting in. Get the report. Now what's actually happened is we've hit the one time offer page. And you can see stop, you'll see this offer only the once. You have your add to cart button. I'll go no further. What I want to do now is go back to my tracking stats. And now what we should see is one click, one action. So now we're in the statistics here. You can see we have one click, we have one unique click. We have one action, but zero sales. That's because we haven't hit that page yet. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look to track uh, an imaginary sale of a one-time offer. To do that, we need to generate another tracking code and we need to add this to our download page. This way then effectively, if somebody arrives onto our download page through this sequence of events and then they arrive to download, they have then purchased. So what we do is we come to campaign management again and track conversions. This time what we're looking to do is we're looking to select a sale continue. So here you can see I've added in the price of the product and it's going to be $17. The product ID 99 and the name is testing sale or whatever product name you have. And this is just to remind me it's a sale of one time offer. All right. So now that we've generated the code again, I want to lift the code and copy that. I now want to paste this code into my download page where I can effectively track a sale. So what I want to do is come to my download page. In HTML, I paste the code directly into the bottom of the page and I update. Now that we've pasted the code into the download page, I'm going to right click copy link location. We're going to simulate the effect of me buying. Uh, I'm not actually going to add to cart or anything, but technically what happens at this point is I will click the button. I'll go to PayPal. PayPal would redirect me back to the download page which is the download page here, and I arrive onto the download page. So now that we've simulated a purchase, I've now arrived onto the download page and I can now access my downloads. What the tracking should have picked up is the fact that there was a sale for $17. So if we come back across to ad tracks, okay, so now we have the stats up for the testing. Here you can see there's one raw click, one unique click, one action, one seal. This is 100% opt-in, um, What this is average cost per click. This will drop the more clicks that come into the page. Likewise, cost per action, cost per sale. So here you can see it's told us we've made $17 sale and we need to make another $23 to make our money back. So that's basically the whole funnel track. Basically, you've got your clicks, your unique clicks, your actions, your sales. This is your opt-ins your cost per clicks, cost per actions, cost per sale, your overall cost, the money you've made, and your profit. I hope you find this video helpful in the use of Antrax Gold. I found it quite confusing myself at the start, but now that I've worked out and hopefully let it out in a clear enough fashion for you in this video, you'll find it's actually quite simple to use, and of course to track your complete funnel using Antrax Gold. So that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching.